Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. My name is Dizzy. Uh, we've been away for a little while. Uh, I'm going to jump into what I hope is Hirschfelden. Yes, Hirschfelden. Hello. Where? Let me see. Uh, let's jump into the missions and have a look at what we've been doing. Uh, so we've been on a, a, a fairly sizable journey down to the Rindeland Gorge uh, in the hunt for a... Oh, do, 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 do. So I have it to the spread. Some bison become ill. We're looking for an ill bison, a dead ill bison specifically uh, for Dr. Bandari. Uh, we have a variety of side quests. Um, Last time we had lots of trouble with this mission objective. Harvest two fallow deer downed with a 0.23 cal for yeah. downed with a 0.243 caliber rifle, comma. Um, the mission text being cut off is a, a known issue. Presumably they will work on it at some point. Uh, I went away and looked up what that mission was, and it's uh, that's very quiet for you guys. Uh, the, the actual mission text is, and score at least a gold. So it's very much a case of blatting the best fellow deer you can find, basically. Um, we have a quest for a deer at night, that's fine, it's not close to night just yet. And we need to grab a fox from Bonedorf. Now Bonedorf is up there, it's the furthest away area so far. But like we've not gone anywhere close to that far north, so that's more of a long-term goal. Um, I think we are pretty much on. Oh, we do have to harvest the rodeo as well. Um, we do have to harvest some rodeo around here, but I think I was gonna carry on my journey. You can see how far we've got to. So this is where we're gonna go. Place waypoint. Uh, we're on our way to the Rindeland Gorgons, particularly we're on our way to this uh, observation point. Uh, there's no real way to get here by path, so I guess I'm just going to go and grab uh, Got a red ATV, which I love. Uh, and now let's check our kit. Uh, no, I need to train ammo. Turn off the stupid wheel. How much? How many bullets do we have? Only twenty-eight point two four three bullets. We need to stock up. We need to stock up. Enough of you. We can do with maybe a stock up of you and stock up of you. Okay. So 0.243s, 7 mils, 420s, 600s. Two four three poly tips. Well at least 40 of those. 7 mil. Fantastic arrows. 420 tracers. And 600 tracers. Fantastic. Okay. We are all caught up. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my large backpack, then grab out a tent. Oh, I've got low on tents, but it's fine. Right, because uh, if we're going by this thing, then it's going to be noisy as hell anyway. We're going to be scaring all the animals. I've just remembered to turn it down for you, so hopefully... How loud is that? Ow. I hope that's not too bad for you. Um, where's my... there's my marker. Yeah, um, 
If we're going by quad bike anyway, there's no reason not to carry a tent with us. Oh god. Huh. Well, that's a bit of a squeeze. Uh, the quad bike, though, is loud enough that uh, I will find it maybe a little bit difficult to talk. But it's fine, this is Call of the Wild. This is our chill, reduced talking game. Um, as you might have guessed by the title, I'm not feeling super duper up to intense brain power exercises today. It's why we're not playing Prehistoric Kingdom. Because I just, I don't have the, the create. I'm not having a good time here. I just don't have the creativity. Oh, that's not the break! Oh, that's not the break. I don't have the creativity to uh, construct new buildings. Also, my A key is very sticky today. It's extremely inconvenient. Yeah, I literally just drove right past them. Uh, I'm, I mean, it looks like I've got this place. I'm going to double check. Yeah, I've got this place. It's bison. I think so. I have no idea how that quad bike managed to turn like that when I go off. But it did. Oh gosh, this is the place where we found like 8,000 herds of bison and got smushed by them, I think. Quite a lot. That's fine. The quad bike should just get them all off, I think. I hope. Ow, hit that tree. Uh. Oh, okay. I think this might be as far as the quad bike can take us. There's no getting up that hill, that's fine. We'll, uh, uh oh. Ah, I can't, I can't jump off of the quad bike because it's the same button to get on it. That's okay. Right, let's turn my in game sound up. Let's turn the sound up for you so that you can hear the game too. Question why Windows Media Player is open when I've not, not asked for it. Uh, Rightio then. Let's have a look at the map. Where are we planning to go? We're heading over this way still. Let's stick to the lake shore for a while. Till we get to, let's say, there. We've got our Nox. Cycle through, we've got. Uh, do we have what button? We've got a ranger on number one. Bear claw on that. Let's put in the take of colors arrow. The last one. Oh, and last time we, we spent our like penultimate skill point, didn't we? Which was uh, a big moment. Oh, and I tell you what. I've been playing Minecraft off stream um, quite a bit recently, and I'm very glad to have the auto run button or auto walk button because <laughs> I, I really miss it when I'm in Minecraft. We've got some bison tracks up and over here. Attached bison, it seems. So this could be another drinking zone. What's uh, an island out there? Yeah, I'm not sure it's an island I can get to. Oh, I do remember that we had a, a floating sign, didn't we? Before. 
that caused us no end of amusement. I was so rodeo drinking or something. Until 5.30. So if we hadn't scared them all off with our quad bike, they would be here right now. That's a rodeo mating call. Might be a little far off. Actually. I've got a rodeo squeaker. I mute the microphone so I can sneeze. And I don't sneeze. And I bet you now I've unmuted the microphone again. I'm gonna wanna sneeze again. <coughs> heard you. I heard something. One's right idea. They're the really small ones, right? It's a bison tracks, not deer tracks. This is right where our ATV was. He's not going to be over here, is he? It's the time. <clears throat> so after that small circle, we just walk to ourselves. I have a feeling today is not going to be quite so productive a uh, hunt as the last one we did. When we grabbed that random diamond red deer through sheer fluke. What's the point? I should get my trophy lodge and mount him up. There's a lovely green open area. Might be worth having a, a nosy at. Oh, look. Miles of Rodeo running away from our quad bike.
Yeah, but it doesn't. Ew, okay. Sit back in chair. Stop leaning forward and breaking your spine, does he? Just relax. If you find no animals today at all, then well, we'll still have got to wander through the pretty wilderness. Although the tired hole will seem <laughs> less and less relevant the longer we go on without actually shooting an animal. But that's fine. Call of the Wild is like being Bob Ross, but with a rifle. You know. There are no fluff shots, only happy little accidents. I should use that as a stream type in the future, actually. Bob Ross with a one with a rifle. Um Well hello. Rodia, three hundred meters. Three hundred and eighty meters. Pretty far. It's far enough that the text is a a upset. Oh, we might have one a little bit closer. What class are you? You're class 3. What hours do my... I don't know what the hell that noise is outside. My take all comes out as well, do you? I had him for a moment. Oh hell, he was right there! Mm -hmm.
He was literally right in front of me, I didn't even see him. Each dizzy. Ah. No, two hundred and eighty meters. Nope, don't move. Bang. Nice. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, I didn't put my tent down. <laughs> That's why there's no animals. Uh... So that will scare that animal off. Let's uh hang on. <laughs> Alright, let's take the super backpack off. Except so I have to get to get over that character. Okay, right. <clears throat> so we've now got a tent to, to get here if we ever need to. And we've made ourselves smaller and quieter, so that we're not spooking all of the animals forever. Oh, there's a thing over here. It's handy. Right. Although, actually, that other roadie managed to get very close to us. Without noticing us. Like, the problem there was, was it being in front of my face and me still being unable to see it, rather than anything else. Um... Oh, that's the yeah. Oh, I hit him. I don't think I downed him. Oh, this is an information point. Let's grab that then. I don't, it wasn't a particularly good shot. I think I got him sort of somewhere awkwardly in the neck. It's okay, we've been, we're a little rusty. Again. We often are. It's a shame, but oh well.
was engaged to my girlfriend Lisa here on the shores of Tikitar Lake, 4th of May 1977. Oh, that's sweet. Right, I hope we can uh, get across this little bit here. Oh, he has gone down, just as I was watching. Oh, he's gonna have run a, a pretty mile though, isn't he? Blimey. Tell you what else I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna have a little bit of music. And and risk the wrath of the copyright gods. Did that actually stay? Right, hello. Boom, right in the heart, dang. Well, a bison in the area as well. I like how I'm like, oh wow, super pro shot, 300 meters straight in the heart, and then I immediately showed up as a fluke by completely fluffing an almost identical shot. Right, we could be tracking this one for a while as well. That was really close. That was really close. I'd love to get as well. But I am 
turn to blind. So. Oh no. It wasn't a good shot though. Which is odd because I sort of thought it was going to be. Alright, uh, he did go down as well. I'll mark that off so I know where to come back to. Another blood spot around here to find. Might be this. There we go. Right. Oh no, this is a mess. Since the wrong track, yeah. Oh, I gotta put new arrows on because that was my last one. I don't rate the traces like so much better than the regular ones, but uh, like there's enough edge cases and I'm not exactly sure on money, so yeah, I might as well. <sighs> Do -do -do. Right, we're below 75%. That's good. Below 50%. We're doing okay. These droppings are now very old in age. That's how long it took me to get around to where I shot this deer. Do a little bit more of that IRL to be honest. We uh we had two days with like some rain, enough to technically like bring a tiny amount of relief to the the plants and stuff. But uh, today it's another warm sunny day, 
and it's not looking like it's going to get any less bad for a while. Right, where did we hit you? Oh, come on! <laughs> that was a perfectly well-placed shot. It just needed to go like two inches further. Ah, oh, I feel less bad about that now. Who's this? It's a wee foxy. We don't much care unless the attached deer is right in front of us. So that's what it seems to be. I also realise it's quite pretentious to label my inability to create stuff in Prehistoric Kingdom as artist's block. But hey, once time is done, you can't change the past. Well, I can, because I can edit the title and I can unpublish the VOD and I can cut all of the references to the title out of the version that goes up on YouTube because I have unlimited power over very, very specific things. <laughs> um, if you're listening to this, that means I didn't do that. See, that cursor, that's right in the middle. Of, of that mark, yeah? But that crosshair is off to the right. What's up with that? What's up with that? Huh? Huh? Explain that, climate scientists. Oh, you might be able to hear lots and lots of, uh, very grumbly traffic going past outside, which is unusual because I don't only get that. We're on a kind of a suburban back street. Okay. And that's where we were. So we could go back and forth, if there's anything there, we could go back and forth making 300 meter shots across this one corner of lake for the next two hours, if we want to. This up on the assumption that it's going to be the same road again. It might not. Ooh. Oh, is that a blood? No, oh, that's a blood. Let's pick it up from there then, shall we? We've run off into the forest, it seems. This bit's kind of quite spooky and atmospheric. <laughs> no, oh, that's it. Gosh darn.
That's funny. Where did I get you? I got you a little too far forward, it seems. That's a little of a shame. But it's okay. Right, so we're actually kind of equidistant between these two. Um, I wonder if these lead to a house of any kind. Yep, that's a house actually. Onwards we go. music on. I can't say I've heard any music since I put music on. It feels a little bit in vain, if I'm perfectly honest. It's like, fine, if you don't want to be on, you can be off. Well, have a good day. Oh, I'm stuck on. all. <laughs> Instant karma. Silly thing. Sorry, my game's having a penny and it's getting me stuck in things. I, I'd forgotten that uh, Call of the Wild is, is quite upset with me having OBS open at the same time and it tanks the, uh, the stream quality somewhat. So I had to just go and close it down. But Call of the Wild is not particularly <laughs> happy with me trying to tab out to do that. I say open, I don't mean open, I mean like how it be visible. I can't seem to cope. Do do do. 
does mean that I all have uh, the kind of manually check <laughs> that my microphone is on and I haven't switched it off or anything. Because I do sometimes, I just like to like switch off the mic and, and just breathe for a bit when uh, moments aren't happening. Or sing, or yawn, or sneeze. Uh, Currently in my head is Florence and the Machines St. Jude. That's an interest to anyone. It's a lovely gentle track. Uh, if you want to know what it's like being in my head, put that song on repeat for the next two and a quarter hours. Because that's what I will be experiencing. <laughs> Five hundred meters to go. I like sleep time for the time. <laughs> so is this all from the artist block? Not really. Maybe I should call it creative block. Oh, hello, who's that? It's a bison. Do I have a bison caller? I do not have a bison caller. But we can uh, wander over this way. I'll put on my heavy arrows. Bison, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. These are not the trunks. Over there. Hello. Okay. Right. We don't have to get much closer. What's the range on this thing? 150. Okay. I do however have to get up this hill. It might take us a little bit of time. And they might move on in that time, which I'm a little concerned about. And why are these bison might actually be moving more quickly than I am? <laughs> Come on guys, where are you? Mine's blowing to the south, which is a little bit annoying actually, because I was always trying to head to the south. Uh, it was blowing northeast earlier. Much more.
Uh, bison. Come, come back. further and further away from where I was supposed to be going in search of the bison I should have just taken the shot from a little bit longer range that's what I should have done but it's not what I did do so I haven't even found your footprints oh, look there you go, hello Theoretically, these are good that far. Not if you're behind a tree, though. Stay still. It's leaving. No good to me if you're leaving. If I see you again, I'm just going to shoot you with the uh, um, the bigger gun, the 7 mil. If you're not in bow range. That's what I should have done both times. Hell! <sighs> I'm such an incompetent hunter, oh my god. Any of you are looking for tips on how to do hunting bison in the Hunter Call of the Wild, watch me very carefully and then do none of the things that I'm doing. Okay? This is not my finest hour. I have the high ground now, which is nice. I have the high ground in a fight that bison don't even know that they're in, but I have the high ground. <laughs> wow, uh, no, that was a track. Yeah, this is. I don't even know where that one female went. This is a disaster. This is a total disaster. I'm gonna to get to the other search uh, lookout point at this rate. <laughs> Where's the blooming bison gone? Maybe I'll title this episode Bye Bye Bison on YouTube. Then all of my comments about artist block won't make sense.
Okay, just in case I actually do do that, the stream title on Twitch is uh, Solving Artist Block with Violence. Okay. So if it's not currently Solving Artist Block with Violence, wherever you are, it used to be. <laughs> this bison have completely legged it without me. <laughs> oh dear. What a mess! What a mess! Right, they're not that far ahead of me. What speed are they moving at? They're not moving fast at all. They're moving at walking pace. I'm just that useless. <laughs> This is the nail. Do we know six ten to seven six five? That's your estimate. You're smaller. And I suppose when we see them we'll be able to pick out the one that looks the best. Where are you going? Why is it with such urgency? Right, they're down there. Or at least a bison is down there. Well, they're over a hundred and something meters away, because that's as far as I can see. They might well be over two hundred meters away, although I don't think I can hear a call over two hundred meters away. So let's say they're a hundred and something meters away. Oh my god, they're going back to the lake. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. This is a total disaster of an expedition. <laughs> I think me crouch running is faster than an animal walking. So if they are consistently just walking, theoretically they should be catching up to them. I mean the fact that they were in sight earlier and now they are well out of sight doesn't bode well for that metric, but... Oh. Why didn't I just shoot you when I saw you? I mean, the answer is because I'd already taken a bunch of long shots today, I didn't want to take another one that was going to faff up and fail. That's why. God, where are you? I'm going to pop out like right in my face and then they're going to spook. And either run away or kill me. If they lead me to a drinking zone, actually, this would be worth it. Oh, hello. Why can I not spot you? There we go. Good shot on you because you're sort of slightly below a little crest. Which is unfortunate. But it's gonna be okay. So we go 
going to be real sneaky. And even though I'm not sure why, you seem to have paused slightly. And use this opportunity to sneak up. Do -do -do. There's he is, the sneakiest hunter. The hunter is sneakier than me. And I sneak right off over this hill for all the bison to see. <laughs> oh no, that's not what I wanted. The song, the song did not go where I wanted it to go. Feed zone, there we go. Okay. Right, and you are super close. Problem is those two trees. Crawl over here, super sneaky like. I'm going to realise I can't see the bison anymore. Oh, hell! Oh my god, I got one. Straight away. Uh oh. Are you all angry at me? Alright, I only want to put two in each. Uh-oh. Cutting through the trees. Okay. Right, I've shot, I think, four. They seem to have all fled. Nice double long. That could have been less messy, admittedly. Oh my god, that got everything. So that was the first one I got. Jesus. Wow. I'm very happy with that shot. Blimey. That was you. Uh, maybe that was all of them. That one was a bit low, but it managed to graze your lung. I got one of each of your lungs. Okay. Is that everything? I can't see any more blood. Oh, hello. A wild boar warning call, you say? I can't see any more blood, so I'm going to assume that was all of them. It. Oh my god. Oh, what just happened there? 
Davy Jones just appeared. You're not hit. Right, let's buy some this poor colour base and stuff here. Oh, is that blood? That's blood. Did hit some I think it's very resilient, blimey. Okay. Right, so that's a bison. We didn't hit any organs, but he's quite low. I'm quite happy with that shot. Light brown bronze, marvellous. Right, we'll keep following this guy, see if he went down. He was quite low. Is that female will have flown the keep. She probably was alerted by my bow shot. Is that another floating asset? Is there a floating sign here? Yeah, you. I do not see you. There's a pig. Oh, bother! The head is in the way. Didn't want to shoot it through the head. Nope, I hit the tree instead of the pig. No, okay. That's okay. I was trying to be clever and leave my shot, it did not work. Okay. You're, I think, the wounded one. Yes, you're the wounded one. Ah, there we go, there's your body, in fact. Gosh, no wonder those pigs were upset. There was a dead bison right next to them. Well, that squeal at the end. Oh, I forgot to look at that blind floating sign, didn't I? Can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is another floating asset. Fix your game, devs. Come on. Now, they have very cannily decided that there's no money in fixing anything. Please stop. Anything except the most game-breaking of bugs. And so they just don't bother. Got him! Right. Where did I hit you? I hit you just in front of the heart and just below the everything. That's another bison. There. Let's put the heavy arrows back on. Double on. I can't call the bison. It's 
so I just have to kind of lump. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Can't see. Bloody rocks, the bane of my existence. That was a good shot, though. Oh my god, that sound cut out as he died. That's kind of horrifying in a way. Right. Don't know if the bison is still here. I heard other footsteps. They might have left. I don't mind if they've left. I won't follow them unless they sound obviously close. It's just this guy was like, oh, he's obviously right here. Let's go take a pop at him. Confirmed trophy. Yep, straight through. It was quite a low angle, actually. Or quite a steep angle, I should say. Right, I don't think there are any more base in here. Oh, no, I tell a lie, there are. Somewhere. Uh oh. Yep, yep. Yep, you're cross. You're, you're, you're allowed to cross. Uh-oh. You climbed up the rock. I can't see a thing. Uh, hello. Got you. I can't see you. Are you running away? Uh, yes, but not very successful. Yes, you're dead. Okay, well I think we've actually now got all of them. Oh my god, I got his spine at the back as well. Jesus. Okay. Right. We've successfully hunted mice into extinction. Um, we're now quite close to this, so I'm going to change my target to this lookout point. Uh, it's also technically night time now. It's 7 o'clock. And as you can tell by the fact that it's got very, very, very dark. Um, yeah, we are now as close to this as we were to that at our closest point. <laughs> oh dear Dizzy. That was a lovely shot as well, actually. For close range shooting, like, I know the, the, the gun is, the handgun is supposed to be your, like, sidearm. But honestly, I think the bow is better. Like, okay, you don't have the same rate of fire, but it's not like I can hit a shot with the blooming handgun anyway. Uh, I want to unlock this tower, but also I'm aware I don't want to squander the night when we have a nighttime mission. I'm also aware that unlocking this tower will actually unlock the fast travel point nearby. I kind of don't want to lose the progress I've made, so my hope is there'll be a fast travel point here I can unlock there go there. That's sort of the vague plan. And then when I want to come to here, I'll pick either that or that tent, whichever is closest. There's actually another bison track there, so is there a, there's still at least one surviving member of that herd. <laughs> Somehow. Oof. Oh, I'm going to do a big stretch. Ow. Oh, oh we'll be back. I apologise if you heard all that, but it was my headphones doing stuff and I did a minor aerobics class. Um, right, we're under 500 metres. It's the wrong one, but it's the closest we've been yet today. Oh, so we've got... Oh, that was a, a road vehicle. Hello.
We've got a uh, Peter's Hain Deer at night. We've also got Harvest of Fox, but that's too far away. We can't get there. Because that will effectively be a nighttime hunt, I should imagine. But uh, we need to be there. Which will not. Um, let's switch on my table colors arrows. It is so dark. Oh my goodness gracious. It doesn't help that I'm in quite a bright sunny room. Um, but like, I, I just have a small circle on my screen that I can see. That's it. I might have gone slightly of course from this way, but I'm not sure exactly where the sound came from. It was somewhere over to the left of our marker. There's also like this brief period of adjustment right after you look into the goggles. Or is that a bow deer? No, that's, that's a bit of a tree. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, is there one right there? There was not. Okay. Let's see it here. Please, please get my barkers out. Oh god, it's there. About to go. Whoa, he just went for it. He just went for it. Ho 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 boy. Okay. Nice. Happy with that. Feel like that went quite well. All things considered. Whew. Nice. Good shot considering the circumstances. Right, 400 minutes away. We're gonna get there today. Again, it's not the one we were aiming for, but we're gonna get one. <laughs> that's kind of the thing that's- it's a little bit sad about the- the late game in any one map, is once you've unlocked sort of all of the towers, all of the fast travel places, there's generally not kind of much call to go on long walking trips like this. Like, once you've unlocked everything, it's just sort of a case of, well, go to this zone, shoot animal, go to next zone, shoot animal. Which is fine. Like, as a gameplay loop, it's it's not bad. There are, there are entire games whose gameplay loop is less compelling than the end game of uh, the Call of the Wild map. But I miss having to, to travel from place to place. You know, I miss going on these long voyages with you guys. Like on Leighton, which I, I have completed everything in Leighton, apart from I don't think I have all the collectibles. So I could go collectible hunting, I guess, if I wanted to look up on a guide as to where all the collectibles were. But, uh, you know, on Leighton, when I log into Leighton to go and do some hunting, it's like, check the time, okay, what need zones are active now? X, Y, Z need zones. Go there. If animals, shoot. If not, go to next need zone. You know, I, I, because I've got quite well placed tents, I generally never have to walk more than sort of 300-ish meters. That's just from tent to lake. Tent to need zone. And like, there's a bit of exploring for me to do now that they've reset all the need zones. A little bit of exploring I could do. I think reset the need zones. Oh no, Bison, you're in the complete wrong direction. Oh, that's terrible news. But I think it is your eating time, so you might be static at least. 
Uh, let's put on the heavy arrows. Bop. Oh, okay, we might not get there today, even though it's only 250 meters away. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. There are tracks. We need to buy some tracks. It just looks like they might have been on the end. So maybe we won't bother following them. Looks like they're heading this way. Imagine a real life hunter in this level of darkness being able to tell from 20 meters distant what way a bison track was going. <laughs> it's crazy. If you gave me a bison track in broad daylight and gave me unlimited time to pour over it, I'm still not 100% convinced that I could tell you what way the bison was going. Uh, or indeed that it was a bison. I'll look at this hill. There doesn't seem to be any animals left in this time. I'll have a look off over this hill. Yes, they're not there. And then we'll say bison get to live. There are tracks down. Oh, look, there's your feed zone. Feed zones take precedence over. Oh. Hello, Moon. You look very pretty today. Oh, you don't look very pretty through the mothers, so though, do you? Got a bison. To look this way. Oh, I can't see you. <sighs> Come on, I can definitely spot you, thank you. I hear them, but he moved. Yep. Hello. Bang. Got you. I didn't hear your friend run. But there's no reason for them to not have run. Oh my god, I hit everything! <laughs> wow! Uh, yeah? Oh, there's another one looking right down here. I just don't want to go past your friend. I, th I think your friend did move. She has a bigger weight estimate. Oh, hang on, that's more. You, you have a bigger weight estimate. Oh, hell, I think that was the head. Did not get him. I think I shot his face. 
Um, but unfortunately, we don't know exactly where where it was standing. In the blood supply, really. Uh, hello? Blood? I definitely hear him. Hang on, so that was the female running along. Oh, are you blood? You're blood. What did we hit? No organs. None at all. Well, we're back to being 400 meters away. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Um, I guess I hit him in the skull, but like, didn't penetrate. I don't know. That it was not a very great shot. In in the history of great shots. That one will not be in the book. I'm not expecting you to go down. I also keep thinking for some unknown reason that I'm using the King DB. In slot 5 and not my second no right magnum. Even though I don't think I've ever shot a bison with my king to be. It's probably because I bought the king DB especially yeah, specifically for shooting bison with and then have never shot a bison with it. Somebody's here. Yeah. Uh oh. So maybe for a second. Don't snuck up behind me, have you? <laughs> that would be awkward. Where did you go? Yes. There are purple tracks this way. They're not the ones that my ones lead to directly. Are they more recent? It would help if they showed up. Yeah, I see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where are you? Uh oh, hello. Uh oh. I think I hit your face. Sorry. Oh, you died. Oh well. Yeah, I did hit your face. Ah! But you are also the one that I shot. That's a shame, but it kind of is handy in a way. So wait, what the hell was that thing? I thought I saw a body up here. I did saw a body up here. Who are you? Did I shoot you? When did I shoot you? <laughs> I don't remember shooting you! What? Oh well, it's a good job you died here, otherwise you would have just been left. Ah, uh, okay, let's, we're now 250 meters away from this again, let's go back. Sure. Oh, uh, I, no, I have no idea what happened. When did I shoot that other bison? <laughs> when did it happen? Oh my gosh, hello. No, I need to make sure you're not behind a tree. Because you really, really want to be behind a tree. Don't you, you pain. I hit the wrong button. Now oh, he's turned back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Hi there. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, he's down. I could have shot him more quietly. But, uh, I. No, I'm shaking. There was no way I was going to get up to him before he wandered off. Oh, the first one was actually too low. Oh, gosh, okay. It's good to know. But the second one was a good dollar long. That's fantastic news. Oh, and I picked up my arrow. That's nice. I, you can. I have the perk for that. But I very rarely succeed at doing so, it must be said. Um. Right, we are splodging hunting pressure all over everywhere. Well, actually, now all the hunting pressure down there has gone away because of all the stuff we've done up here. Partly, I think that's because we've been really good and mostly using bow kills. Um, there is another male bison over in these parts somewhere. But yeah, because we've been good at using bow kills, we remove more hunting pressure than we have. Which is one of the reasons why I like using the bow. The other being the very hefty... Uh, it packs all of... Oh my god, is that a... No, it's just a cheap punch. Oh my god, I thought I saw like galloping legs right next to my face! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, there's an animal right on top of me. Yeah, 
I'm all over there somewhere, but with the fog and everything, I just can't see him at all. I could go that way, but I'm, we're so close now. We're 100 meters away from this lookout point. I want to grab the lookout point. Ah, hello. I feel like that didn't get him. You know? I feel like he didn't he didn't get hit there at all. I don't think I even touched him. No, I did hit him. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> right. Spawning tower. And then we'll go after the uh, the pig. Do 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 up the stairs. I love this wooden construction. It's so much nicer than the janky metal ones of, of America. Even if once you get up here there's sort of nothing to do. Um. Right! Can you see anything? Dorf marks the border between the Rindeland Mountains and the Hirschfelden farmlands. The main attraction here is the Elmsdorf Cave, and we get a lot of spelunkers all year round. Make sure to check it out. Ooh, I maybe will. Uh, we will have a house to unlock. Um, and, and the pig's not that far out of the way either, which is excellent news. Excellent news all round. There's Elmsdorf Bridge, which I've been to before. I, I wonder which one Ernsdorf Cave is. I guess it might well be this? Because that's kind of mountainy areas. It's not going to be that, and that's all we've really unlocked. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. There's a radio over there somewhere. In this nebulous green haze. No, okay. Like probably we're not gonna be super duper successful trying to pick out a road here from that look. I'll I'll hit the hitter again just in case. But, uh, unless he cries at us again, we're going to safely assume Uh Oh good, next door is smoking outside the window. Marvellous, that means I have to close all of my windows. Isn't that wonderful? <clears throat> so considerate of them. Ugh. This is the, the worst thing about smokers is that, like, you can end up having problems with, like, your house getting, like, a smell of smoke stuck to it, even if you don't smoke. If you just are consistently near smokers, or have smokers as friends, hello, where are you? Uh, probably not somewhere that I want to shoot you. Oh, that's not fair. Ah, oh, I want to go hunt that fox so badly. Oh, there's a lot of pigs. Come on, 
need to get a little bit closer than that. Away from me. Let me walk away from me. Okay, we'll take this pig because he's coming close. No, we won't because he's not showing us a good side. Come on, come on, pig. Got him. Right, I see the others wild left. It's probably too close to shooting all the one P even with the bow anyway. That's fine. Right. Tag the pig. We shove it through its lots of things. Oh I gotta level up! That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, let's tag this. Hello. Oh all of you animals are in this plumbing. An area of high pressure. I thought you hated areas of high pressure. I thought that was the point of areas of high pressure. That they drove animals away. They're like, no, let's go chill in the area of high pressure. Oh, okay, that's fine. All you piggies get to live. Yeah, I know. I know! You don't have to tell me. Maybe I should have been greedy and shot this one with the, the, the gun. Then maybe it would be okay. The gun, okay. But it's not. Because I didn't. Okay? So we are all now collectively going to have to lump it. That means I don't get to shoot you, you don't get to be shot. I think you're coming out ahead in this deal. Honestly, I do. Uh, where are we going after this? Oh, that is exactly where I thought it was going to be. I'm so smart at reading maps. Uh, I'm going to flick OBS open for a sec, so excuse the stream while it has a paddy. We are up for an hour 46. Fantastic. Uh, confirm trophy. Well, it wasn't the deepest shot in the world, but it was enough. Uh, I'm looking at Fallow Deer for this quest, aren't I? Yeah, two Fallow Deer. I've not seen a Fallow Deer today. I guess we're not in Fallow Deer country anymore. I'm gonna do another big stretch. Ow. Oh, there's that fox rail somewhere in that mess. Can't really get to you. Ah, oh, me neck, me back, me everything. Oh, you watch out. One of the things that I could really do with is uh, a chair that comes, uh, like the back comes forward a bit relative to what my one does. Uh, oh, where am I 
to the road. Or a path at least. Oh, it's just a path path. Oh, actually like on the path path. Just temporarily. Because yeah, like to, to play, if I want to be upright, I've got a good know, half a foot, let's say, maybe not quite that much, at the top between my back and the chair. And I feel like that's too much. I feel like it should be further forward than that. But it's, mine isn't adjustable or anything. So I'm kind of stuck like that. And it's fine for when I want to lean back a bit. But uh, it's not fine for when I want support, which I often do. Oh, oh. You tease! Oh, I'm sorry for that chat, I forgot how awful that hit caller was. Wow. How do they even move us that way? This... Rareish? Oh, hello, it's Yi in chat. How you doing, Yi? Uh, is, is this Counterclaw of the World you see? Yes, it is. I was going to do Prehistoric Kingdom, and then I realised that my creative brain muscles are. Absolutely frazzled. Oh, hell, where are you? No, I didn't hit him. Pretty sure I definitely didn't hit him then. Uh, yeah, my brain muscles are absolutely frazzled, so I wanted something a little more chill. Ah, oh. That's a tragedy. No, definitely didn't hit him. Aiming too low. That's a real shame because I don't hunt foxes nearly often enough. Uh, there's a track here. I don't think it's a blood track though. Oh, yeah. Nope. In fact, what happened was I shot the gun and he pooped himself. Oh, that's a red deer. I was just talking about how I hadn't met a red deer before. I'll happily take you instead. Uh, let's put on the big arrows. Are red deer class 7? I think they're class 7. Uh, I've got a red deer caller on one of these. Nine. Ah, oh, he is downwind of me though. Uh, which isn't ideal. There you are, bingo. Well, I think it was right on target. I'm a little bit just sort of firing into the dark. He looks hit, doesn't he? But looks hit and are, was hit are not necessarily the same thing, especially when there are trees around. Oh, no organs hit! Darn. Um, I also did really check what class they were. Right, apparently the next track is in this direction somewhere. He's not gone down. 
I might be able to catch up to him. Finish him off. This is the problem with firing blindly in the dark. Well, it wasn't blindly. I mean, I had him spotted. I don't know what happened, though. He was sort of fading out of visibility right as I took the shot. But it looked like I was on... Oh! He has gone down. There we go. Well, uh, it's not going to be ideal, because I didn't hit any organs. But he has gone down. So I'll be able to at least see where I hit him. Mark back here. Class six. I need the table comes arrows. Oh. Um, further away than I thought. That's okay. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. So I'm thinking we maybe went up this way. What the hell is that noise? Hello? That was a particularly gloopy sounding deer. Hello. I got him. Oh my gosh. There's another red deer. Uh, oops. I lost my trail. Where's my trail? I also completely lost what direction that other red deer was, spoiling. Mean. Right, are you the wounded one? You're the wounded one. Nah, it was too far back.
Okay, right, let's let's try and get this one. And then we'll try and get the other male. And then we'll try and get that female. This will all happen in a sort of a sensible fashion without me getting too distracted. And for example, forgetting about something I've shot completely, like I did with that one bison. <laughs> uh, it would really help though if you had made your tracks in a stupid circle. Actually, that would be grand. Did you go? If you point back and sound the hell I can not <laughs> Uh, over the top of the hill, maybe? There are plenty of tracks here. So dark! Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, there's one. I think that other male hasn't materialised. Okay. <sighs> Not just run in a straight line. Is this a different blood? That is a different blood, okay. That's the female's blood, right? That's the female's blood. Okay, so we've got one of those. But we know where it is. Which is good. We'll come back to that. Uh, uh. Sure would be nice if there was just like a nice little body lying out here in the open. Wouldn't it? Uh, you're under fifty percent, but you still might be gone for a while. And for some reason, finding the tracks is quite difficult at the moment. Come on. I can die already. <laughs> oh no, you've done something stupid up here as well, haven't you? Blood? That might be blood. Ah! A body! Fantastic! Okay, we can skip the blood. <laughs> Okie doke, right. This is one out of three. This was the shot in the dark. Oh, come on! That was a great shot! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh.
Okay, fine. There we go. Right, okay. Let's get back to the Red Deer Central. And go pick up mail number two. I hate it when the, the shot's a little too perfect and it's too central. I especially hate it because sometimes a shot will register as having hit a bone that was absolutely nowhere near it. This is blood here. Is this the female blood or is the other male blood? This is pretty low. This is the female. I might follow this, actually, as we're already under 50% here. Oh, you didn't have to go everywhere and run and paste that, didn't you? Okay, we're super close. That body will be coming into view any time now. Bleed rate is very low. Which is odd, because I thought I hit you quite well. That was a, oh, it was a non vital organ hit. Yes, I remember now. I caught you kind of broadside a little too far back. There's the body. Oh, you have very mucky feet. Uh, where do we get you? Uh, the intestines, yeah. Oh well. Alright, 200 meters back to the deer spot, and then... So close, we're so close to the outpost. <laughs> we can make it. We can do this. I believe in us. Oh, oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. Very sleepy. <laughs> Just forever and for always very sleepy in this game. Just keeping an eye out for trails that might be blood. It's also worth keeping out for those deer in case they come back again. Um, it's not unheard of. I mean, well, hell, they came back already like three times. I wish the previously spotted button on the map retained all the information that came up when you spotted it. So 
like what its white estimate was, what gender it was, what fur colour it was. So that I could distinguish between my various different previously spotted markers. Because I don't know if that previously spotted marker is for one of the females or for the male. If it's one of the females, then I haven't shot that one. If it's for the male, then I did. Let's pick up this track. I'm pretty sure this track's going to be one of the females, but I'll pick it up just in case. This is a male, so this could be the male that we're after. That's the dream. This might well be the male. This is about the right place. So if we were over there, King Alice up at the left, there was that tree, or a tree much like it. Let's check to see if the females have come back. Correct, dear. It was a good hit. It was our only good hit for a while. Oh, that's a big old blood. That's a big old bleed. I'm not used to having such a big bleed. Bleed rate high. I never see bleed rate high. And there's a body. It was literally like just out of our view before. Ow. <laughs> just turns around and falls down the slope. It's fine, we got him. Uh, okay. Let's put a marker on our, our next outpost. So it's that way some way. Uh, you're fairly nice looking. You're not going to be too impressive. You're a silver. Right, it's probably going to be fairly chill from here to the house. I sort of hope it will be, in a way. Um, screen. Okay, once we've done this, I'll we'll grab this, we'll travel to... is it Peter's Hain? Yes. 
It says harvest a deer. Does that mean I have options? Can it be fallow or red or row? I don't think I've ever seen it, like, not specify a species exactly before. That would be cool. Right, let's feel the red deer around. Probably one of the two for me. Oh, one of the three for Malia. One of the two survivors of the three for Malia. I really wish there was a skill to estimate distance to a ball. That would be so hard. Conversation. Come on, where are you? Come on. Don't move further away. Right past this house. Oh, I'll go claim the house. I don't want to lose it again. It might be worth losing the deer. To make sure I actually have the house. Somewhere up that way. <coughs> Don't know if this spooks them. Right. Outpost unlocked. Uh, uh, and immediately turned around. Uh, he says, Cyber, people saying they're gonna hack your account? Okay. I am confused. I feel like I'm catfishing this deer at this point. We've exchanged mating calls quite a bit. When I am, in fact, not another deer, but a human with a bow. Come on. It's a different but 
closer. It's always a little bit of a problem. And we've got like two. Well, sometimes they can sort of clever girl you. While you're focusing on one, the other one sneaks up on your flank and then spots you. Sends out a one cord, doesn't matter. As it is, neither of these two are particularly keen on going close. You're just where I right, right where I just was. Get over here! Get over here! Come on! You are upwind of me. Which is the most favourable place for you to be. Where are you? Because like foxes will circle you until they end up downwind of you. And then they smell you and run away. Where actually are you? That sounded really close. There's your tracks. I can hear it. Oh. Come on, come here. It must be close. I think I saw it move, but like, just a little bit. Wherever it is, it's within bow hunting distance of it. Is that saying 20 meters? It's almost within torch distance. Oh hell, it's behind a rock. It's not good news. I'm down! I think this one's gonna get away. I think this rock is gonna be my undoing. Oh my god, hello. Got him. Well, I, mean, I did not see you at all. Yeah, that's sort of what I was afraid of, them just coming around the rock and being right up close to me. But somehow, it didn't spot me. That is a huge blood spatter. Wow. Um, okay. Well, that went alright then. We'll pick this up and then we'll head off to Peter's home. I feel like I was moving really slowly then as well.
Right. Great success. God, we didn't move quite far away. I think I have another one. Possibly your friend. I have not gone very far. Hello. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh no. Disaster. No idea where she's gone. There she is. Not close, so. huh? You're a bit of a long shot, but... Oh, I hit him. <laughs> That's one of the nice things about the tracers. You can just sort of see it, like, vanishing off into the distance. Oh, we found a road. Hello. Uh, okay. I, that being said, I did just pick that up, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Lots of tracks. No blood. Blood? No, that's. I could have sworn I hit that deer. No, it wasn't over there. Was it? I'm lost. And, and utterly confused. I've been bamboozled. That's the middle, it's gonna be up there somewhere. Where's that? What's over here? What? I'm lost. I'm I'm lost and confused. What I I'm sure I hit that deer. Hang on. This is where I shot the first deer. This is where I shot the first deer. Where the hell is the blood from the other deer that I just shot? It can only be over here somewhere. What? Am I gone? Have I gone mad? Have I gone utterly mental? Where did I shoot the other deer? What? Doesn't help there's two deer here. What is going on? The 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 thing is smudgy, so I definitely downed it. Where the bloody hell is the blood? Is this blood? This looks like it could be blood. That's poop. Where the... That's blood. Blood. Okay. Right. I don't know what happened there. It was not a disaster. But we're, we're okay. Oh, I see. This deer just doesn't want to leave any tracks at all. Of course. That's what the problem was. 
stuff. No, that's not what we need to end. It's just footsteps. Okay. Right. We're back on track. Back on track. Something will be fine. No organs hit. I suppose I was shooting it from quite far away. It was a longer shot than I wanted to take. But having just done a dance around in Faf with a deer, I wasn't necessarily feeling like doing another one. Okay. Can we stop chasing deer? I'm gonna hit confirm on this. And there's gonna be no more deers nearby. Such that we cannot possibly get distracted. Okay? Okay? Okay. Oh, apparently we hit it really high. That's not what I expected. Okay. Good? Oh hell, let's go check this off. Real quick, just while we're here. Oh, we're so close to that! Ah. No. I'll be strong. I'll be strong, and the deers, if there are any nearby, will be quiet. Such that they avoid detection by the hunter. That's the hunter, all one word, no spaces. That's actually what my name is in game, the hunter. It's not it's not. Um, Oh my god, that's another one. Okay, fine, we'll go to the other one afterwards. We are never ever getting to Peter's home. And we are definitely never ever getting to Rindelin Gorge. And we are never in a billion trillion years getting to Burndorf. Um, it's just not a thing that can happen. That looks like an information stone. Which is worth coming to. Because lore. You are either the stupidest or the unluckiest animal. Oh, there are actually a few of you. Turns out. Oh, there was at least two sets of footsteps there. Okay. Okay. We get the information point, we're gonna get the body, and then there will be no more deer and no more distractions. Definitely. I'll tell you something else though. That looks really pretty. Yeah, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised you're upset. I've shot everyone. Absolutely everyone.
No, inspect. Rumors say you can find a spruce tree in the area that dates back to 1000 BC. Well, that's going to be easy to find among all these spruce trees. Um, Friends have gone a bit wibbly. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and at this point I feel like you've been warned. Honestly. Oh, you know what that was though? That was another deer that was trying to us. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Um, right. Boom. Lovely shot on the deer. We will eventually run out of deer. I mean, that's not how the game works. It literally generates a, a, an endless supply of animals for you to hunt. But we will eventually run out of deer that happen to stumble upon us when we are moments from fast traveling. <laughs> Just through sheer luck, eventually that must happen. What time is that? Oh my gosh, we've spent three in-game hours <laughs> getting distracted from thing to thing. Uh, I also don't know where the next track is. It's just not good news. Oh, there we go. It was not too far away. Right. There's body. Presumably there cannot be any other deer nearby. Where are we on the map? Oh, there is a fox. Oh, there's no... oh I want to go for the fox. Oh. <laughs> Fox is downwind of me, there's no point going after him. If he happens to, to toddle over my way. That's all the tracks over there. I don't think somehow that I'm gonna get a deer this night. So the night's already half done. No fox is visible. We are we are leaving. Peter's Hain. Map. Over here. Harvest a deer at night. Where do you reckon the best place is for that? I don't know. Where do the deer's gonna sleep? What way's the wind blowing? Wind's blowing northwest ish. 
So if I go here and head to sort of this place. Hey there ye, welcome back. Uh, so sorry I've been so busy. There's no need to apologise. You got stuff going on? We all got stuff going on. I was messaging a friend on Facebook the other day. They sent me a 2700 word essay on my problems. On my problems! They sent me an essay on them. <laughs> that's, how, that's how much stuff I've got going on. Um, okay. Right. Uh, over the fence, please. There we go. Oh! Ooh, pretty windmills. Yeah, I have no idea where deer rest around here. I don't have any new zones from this whole area. So, we're just gonna go sort of go for a wonder. <laughs> Oh god, this is the pig killing feel, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Um. There is a lake nearby. Maybe at the end of the night I'll see if there's... Because that's, I guess, sort of morning is when I'd expect them to come down for a drink. So sort of 3, 4 a.m. I'll see if I can... Toddle down to the lakeside. Right, let's make sure there's no pigs here waiting to ambush me. Okay, we're good. Always look both ways before crossing the road. For cars? No, for pigs. <laughs> This little path is not marked on the map. Hmm. This area is quite open, which would be lovely in the daytime when creatures go to nice open areas. But it's not terribly useful for hunting the deer at night, which is the time when creatures go away from wide open areas and go to nice, cozy, comforting secret places. Although the boars might be out on the, the open fields tonight. I don't think I've actually been like right up to the windmills yet. So this is nice, they'll be sort of travelling through them I think it looks like. Maybe that's, that's not what these roads are, maybe these are roads servicing the windmill area? Although... No, they can't be because they're not far enough away. Full winning? I'm sort of full winning. I mean, getting so distracted by animals that you can't complete the mission because you're too busy hunting stuff. That kind of sounds like winning in a game where you're supposed to be hunting. I'm not winning in that I'm out of drink. Which does put a finite cap on how long the stream could possibly go on for. But we are also at 2 hours 40, so you know, if I do let's say another 20 minutes, half an hour, that will be a normal length stream. to tab out and I'll serve you remotes to find out what they said. And I'm honestly still none the wiser. If those take NRG and they look like little Kirby's. You swear and hunted animals get scared so easily? They do. Um depending on how much you've played, if you have the perks oh hello. Um 
excuse me for, for swearing there just a little bit. Fantastic, okay. I'm gonna go for it. I hit him. That might be all we need. Go forward, you daft thing. Okay, we might have this mission done already. If we're super duper lucky. He's dead. Oh, were you a fallow deer? No, you are a roe deer. Uh. Oh, this is a, a sleep zone for both. That's cool. Uh... Oh, <laughs> you didn't get far. Okay. Impressive. Seems yes. like the scent did the trick. I'll pass on the results to Zoma. Oh wow, that's a lovely rodeo as well. You're right, that is a big one. Okay, have you got some dialogue for me? Object complete, how is it at night? Two missions with one deer, or a year. I'm so efficient. Got that leap game skills. Uh, when? when does the, uh, the fellow deer sleep here? Until midnight, so it's kind of a shame. I'm a little late for them. But they'll be back. Right, so we've still got to investigate the bison. We've now got... that's the old one. Uh, you now want me to go to Petersheim Lake and harvest road here. Apparently I'm already there. I am already here. Uh, this doesn't have to be done at night, but it is night. You've been playing since release? Wow! I'm impressed. Um, I'm trying to remember when I picked the game up. Uh, Steam might know. Steam, when did I download the game? No idea. Steam has no idea. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not that long, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I think I was probably first put onto the game when Hat Films streamed it. That sounds kind of vaguely likely. Um, and that can only be in the last couple of years. Oh, there's another roe deer track. At a run, so you were a roe deer who was nearby when I shot. That's good, because that means you might still not be that far away. And we've got to harvest two of you? Two roe deer. Okay. I'm wanting to trail you. It's a wild boar. Not right now. Of course, you'll have had plenty of time to get quite far away, unfortunately. Oh, my visibility here is terrible. This is how I ended up being slaughtered by pigs. I'm not good. I'm not going slowly. So that is a purple. It suggests that you rested here after you ran away from me shooting. Which means you could still be nearby. It is ye, it is good to know that. Ah no, hang on, that's not a, a rest trap. Well, I do wonder what this lot of tracks is from. That is a road deer as well. 
Oh, so that's already resting until midnight. Oh wait, are they both until midnight? What? No, I'm maybe I'm just being daft. Or maybe there's two Rodeo rest zones on top of one another and that's upset the game somehow. It's fine, we're gonna track this one. It's gonna stay in the area that we need. And Oh my god, are you kidding me? Another floating sign? I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. This is not the face of someone who's impressed. Come on, little red, yeah. Let's squeak. Just in case you're nearby. How quickly you need. Your walking speed now. So I might be able to catch up. Whilst through this, you're likely to hear me coming before I see you. Which is sub ideal. I tracked those bison for ages, so I'm sure I can be forgiven for tracking Rodeo for a while. Ooh, whose emote is that? I love that. That's a Twitch Global emote. How come I've not really seen people use that before? I should use that all the time. Being queer is like 80% of my personality at this point. <laughs> Uh, can I have some more tracks, please? Yeah, you. Boom. Oh yeah. That was worthwhile. That was very worthwhile. Happy about that. Right through the everything. Oh, achievement unlocked. Date night. Harvest a male and a female roe deer from the same herd. I didn't even know you guys did herd. I only ever see you on your own pretty much. That was nice. Oh, and it's date night because I shot it through the heart at night as well, which I think is very fitting. Um, 
Awesome. Right. So that's one of two road deer in this area. Do I want to keep going? Keep heading, what is it, southwest. Alright, Lady Yi, I hope your big day tomorrow goes really well, whatever it is you're doing. Um, I wish you all the, all the success. Laters! Sure, we'll head through just kind of down this way. See if we pick anything up. <laughs> Bye. Oh, what can the foresty bits? The foresty bits are more likely resting places, but they are harder to see. Uh, well, we've only got six minutes until it's three o'clock. So we'll, we'll wander through here for a little bit, but my guess is we will probably wrap up this stream with this mission still incomplete, which is fine. You know, we, we did a mission, which is maybe even slightly more than I was expecting to do in today's stream. It was not the mission that I expected to do, but, uh, you know, it, it was progress nonetheless. And we unlocked our, um, so we unlocked our house that would be a, a good staging point on our way to finally, finally, finally get to the Vindeland, whatever it is, Vindeland Gorge, I think. Um, and you know, we grabbed plenty of kills along the way, enough for me to be happy about it. I don't feel like we've had an empty day. None of these tracks. Feels like cheating because I can mark some tracks from further away that I can see them. But so can um... Oh blimey! God that scared the ever living daylights out of me. No, no no no, blow the hooter, blow the hooter, not that hooter. This hooter. Oh, that scared... that scared me so much. I see you. <laughs> Hello? Can I... can I move? Thank you. Oh, my, I tell you what, my key inputs when I like, I'm getting up after a shot to go and run and reload, I feel like they're getting sloppier and sloppier over time. Like it's not that they're getting more practiced and refined, they're getting worse. Uh... Oh, I was like, where did the fox go? Oh, you're a... Uh, a need zone track. Silver, dark red foxy boy. Lovely gently. Right. 
Okay, well that will have scared off everything, but that was super duper worthwhile. Uh, those are also actually not the tracks that I saw. So let's go have a look. Oh, maybe they were. Maybe it's something different. Uh, looks like there's been another fox here. Sort of leaving chunks of gristle around, as one does. What are these? You don't like deer tracks, don't you? You're going this way. You're a red deer. You're not the kind of deer I'm after. I've lost my mark point. There's my mark point. <laughs> If you are a roe deer, I might have followed you, although you are heading basically out at this point. Yeah, okay, when I reach the boundary of this, we will call it for today. That's a nice added bonus fox. Well, the take hot foxes you can get, because they're rough to come by. More tracks over there. We're going back up the way I came though. Hello, who are you? It's a fallow deer. Uh, I do have a separate quest for fallow deer. I might jog at least a little bit to see if I can get to you. This terrain is horrible for, for walking over. I'll see if I can get to the top of this rise and peek over, but I've got to get there quickly because I've got no fallow deer cora. I feel like I'm being held back by something. It's really weird. Oh wow, these are really noisy. Wow. And extremely eerie, it must be said. This is for you guys, actually. Um, that's not too bad. Ow. Over there now? That warning call. I need you. I need you, fellow dear. I'm not even sure how you detect me. I guess it was while I was running. God. Back! These your tracks? Little fellow deer? Or, well, hopefully big fellow deer. Um, I 
Where in Sniper Elite? I feel like that one would be a, a, a gunshot of scary noise. There's lots of tracks here. They are all disturbed vegetation. That's a rest zone. So I want to pick that up regardless. This is fallow deer. Wherever the deer in question is, he's not here anymore. This is a fellow deer rest spot. Quite an old one. Wherever that fellow deer was who called out, he's not here now. That's for certain. I've also actually left my area of road deer hunting, haven't I? I have a little bit more of a look around, but we'll probably give up soon. Because wherever he is... And he was warning calling already when he was a hundred and something meters away. So he's probably long gone. Oh my god! And I mean, I feel like I definitely would have noticed this going past. Jesus. That's a lot of tracks. Oh, there's a red deer rest zone here as well, apparently. Also ends at midnight. All the deer! Oh, 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 oh. Just a track. All of the deer, apparently, are chilling out around here. Um, but if these tracks are all red deer, there's going to be absolutely no hope of finding the fallow tracks in amongst all of this. Is there? No, not at all. Um, but. Wow, between the hours of 9 and midnight, it's all going on by this lake. We've got roe deer, we've got fallow deer twice, we've got red deer, all having a nap in the same place. Places. So that might be a productive hunt for next, well maybe not next time, but uh, certainly for you know a, another stream in the future. Uh, in the meantime... I think it's time for me to do my usual sign off. So, uh, if you are watching here with me on Twitch and you've enjoyed, please do consider dropping a follow. Uh, current follower goal is 30. Uh, obviously, I would love to, to make this sort of thing that I can actually get a little bit of earnings from. Uh, oh, that can be the same way. There we go. Yeah, uh, you know, every click. Even if you're not directly con contributing financially to a streamer, every click, like, view, etc., they all help drive the rankings. Um, you know, anything you can do towards the end is always vastly, vastly appreciated. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the same vein, please do consider dropping a like or even subscribing if you want to see more. Um, I love creating content for you guys, and YouTube is where I put all of it up so that it lasts for posterity. You can see all of my past Call of the Wild in Hirschfelden, you can see Call of the Wild in Medved, you can see the other games that I play, like Prehistoric Kingdom, uh, that I was sort of normally supposed to be playing today, uh, or my full playthrough of Stray, which I just finished yesterday. Uh, and you can also find me on Twitter, at Demise. Uh, where I send out a tweet every time I go live, so you never have to miss one of these in the future. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at the same time, about midday, uh, playing... Mm, I've, I've had a few thoughts on what to play. 
Uh, we'll see how they turn out. I don't want to promise anything and not deliver on it, but uh, we'll see. It could be something a little bit new for the channel. In the meantime, my name has been Dizzy. I hope you've had a wonderful time. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Ta-ra!